What's up, guys? Jaxel here, uh, putting another video together to show uh, the update to Zentornio for Zen 402. Uh, now, if you've used the old version, uh, you pretty much know how it works. Uh, there have been a lot of changes to this version. It's taken me a month to program it so far. So uh, let's uh, let's let's show some of that stuff. All right. So add-ons installed. First thing I'm going to do is go to user group permissions. And make sure all my permissions for Zentornio 2 are set up properly. You definitely want to do this first, especially uh, before you import data from the old version. Uh, make sure you have bypass event moderation on your account if you're an administrator, especially before you import, because otherwise you're going to be importing all your events into the moderation queue. And then, of course, the import function is right here in the import data section so let's uh, continue that and let's uh, input all the required data I'm not going to show this so let's pause the video and I'll continue uh, back up on the next step all right now we're on the next step we're going to import everything uh, now Zenforo's uh, importer requires you to have a log table I, I don't use it I, I wish I could disable this function, but I can't, haven't figured it out. So I just put in a dummy table, and uh, it, it's just irrelevant. And I'm going to continue. All right, and let's keep continuing. Let's start import. And there we go. This should only take about a another minute. Eventually. All right, it's done. Uh, now, you should click Finalize Import here. Uh, let's do that on another tab because Finalize Import is going to rebuild all the caches on your in your forum, and that's going to take quite a bit. So there we go. Let's click Finalize, and now it's going to process for the next 10 minutes. So while we are doing that, let's look at some of the other stuff. Uh, first, let's look at our options. Uh, show league, show the navigation, some side loading stuff, uh, basic settings, a uh, little bit simpler than the old version, so not really much to talk about there. Uh, we've got our categories. Categories can be set up how you like. All right. Uh, we've got our leagues, and now I have two main leagues and two sub leagues. Let's look at Salt Caliber Five. Let's uh, edit this league. Uh, now, one of the things that is different is the way images are handled in uh, in uh, the Zentornio Two. In the old version, uh, you had to upload the files, the icons for the leagues directly from uh, your FTP. Now I have. Uh, uploading function built directly into the edit screen. You can change it right here. Uh, you can add administrators, etc. But there is a new option here for the which uh, type of ranking system you wish to use. Now, ATP is how the old version worked. Now, I think ATP is an excellent system. Uh, if you're doing a local league, you should... Uh, my recommendation is to stick with ATP because it's high accuracy uh you know etc things like that um but for our large league so for instance let's go back to my uh my official website and we have our leagues here and uh with the atp rankings the major problem is if you don't have enough events happening in your community at a consistent rate atp begins to break down so what I implement is the ELO system, and ELO works exactly as you would expect it to do. Uh, matches are graded based on uh, how you do against other players in the tournament. Uh, now, there is a downside to using ELO here. Uh, ELO can only grade uh, people it knows in the ranking system. So if... Uh, you have players in your tournament who do not have accounts on your ranking system or on your forum, then 
no matches they play uh, will be credited in the ELO ranking system, which means anyone they play against will also not receive credit in, in the ranking system. So, for instance, let's say you have one of the best players in the world who is not in your ranking system, and then another player comes along and beats them at one of your tournaments. Uh, because one of the players in that match are not in the ranking system, no one's going to get credit for that for that match. And that's just how ELO works. And there's no real way around it. With ATP, ATP doesn't care about individual matches. It only cares about final event results. So even if uh, only one person in the entire tournament uh, has an account on your ranking system, that one person will still get credit for how they do in the tournament in ATP. But like I said, ATP falls apart in big unorganized leagues. Uh, so ATP, I recommend it more for your sub leagues. Like let's say uh, you have your, like the way I do it here is we got Soul Calibur 5. This is just going to be all the events for Soul Calibur 5 throughout the world. Uh, now, let's say we also have a weekly. So my community has a weekly that happens every Tuesday night at the break in Donella, New Jersey. What we're going to do is we're going to have a specific ATP ranking just for that league. So instead of being all the matches for Soul Calibur 5, it'll be only the matches for Soul Calibur 5 at my weekly tournament. And that's much better for ATP because then I can say, hey, let's only calculate uh, the most recent six events in a three-month-long period. So people will get credit for their top six scores in the past three months. So as long as they attend you know, um, uh, six events out of 13 or 14, they will be getting their maximum score. And if they attend more than that, they have a chance to uh, negate some of their bad beats if they've had a bad day or anything. But this one as a, is a uh, global league, so we're going to switch it to ELO. I'm going to do the same thing with our Soul Calibur 2 league. All right. Uh, now on the screen, you can also edit the teams for the league. And like the uh, images uh, for uh, the league, the images for your teams are also going to be uploaded through a form system. So you may have to do this after your imports. Uh, because it's not using the same folders as the old version, so you're going to have to uh, take care of this on your own. It's a one-time process, so shouldn't take that much effort. All right, so we've got our events as well. All the events have been imported. Still processing. All right, so let's go to uh, front of site and go to our ranking system. And we have... Uh, you know, I did an import before and a calculation before. That's why it already has rankings here. Uh, Soul Calibur 2 does not, so let's update those rankings. There we go. All right, front front of, front of page, we've got our rankings. Uh, let's, so let's look at the rankings. We've got a uh, number of players in our league. Uh, ignore these broken icons. It's because this is my dev forum, and I haven't imported the user icons. All right, so league here, we can say let's view all events in this league. And you can see what service they're on. So this was Smash GG. These were Challenge. You can say let's look at all the matches in this league, who won, as well as character usage. Now, like before, we've got specific filters. So if we go to events... We can add some filters. We can say, let's show only events that are part of a major. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's say only events worth at least 2,000 points. There we go. And we've got our filters right here. You can remove them one by one, as well as add more relevant filters. And the same thing with, with teams. We can say... Let's see only character usages at majors. Or, you know, 
Let two thousand. Let's see. Only character uses at at events worth at least two thousand points. There we go. We can uh, increase that to five thousand. Let's see what happens. All right, and it just updates. We can say let's view only characters used by a specific player. There we go. I don't really attend majors for Soul Calibur Five. Wasn't really that much of a fan of the game. Anyways, so I've only used one character, so that's me. Then of course I can see uh, all my uh, results, all the matches I've played, how I've done. In matches, I can see how I've done against specific players. So let's go, Jaxel versus Ramon. He's beaten me. Four times, and I've only been in him once. Oy. Fuck you, Ramon. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to curse there. <laughs> All right. So that's a basic uh, presentation. All right. Let's click Submit Event. And we have our Chalan, Smash CG, and CSV Records. CSV Records, it's got an example of how it works down there. Uh, but you'll notice something's missing here, and that is TO Pro. And that's because... Unlike the old version, which uh, if we click submit over here, we have a TO Pro option. TO Pro doesn't actually exist anymore. The website doesn't go anywhere. You can't download the software anymore. It it just doesn't exist. So I opted not to spend the time uh, programming an API for it. All right. So let's go to my challenge subdomain. Let's take an event. And let's uh, submit this to the brackets. All right, this was at The Break in Donnellan, New Jersey. Let's put this in Soul Calibur Five. Yes, I know it says Dragon Ball Fighter Z, but I don't have one of those leagues. Let's add it to the sub-league, and this is a weekly event. 12 entries, $10 entry fee, custom distribution earnings I'm not changing, media. I'm, you know, I can add media, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, results, full list right there. Matches, full list right there. All right, let's click save. And there we go. Here is uh, the event. We've got, uh, it's not finalized yet, so we can still add results if we need to. Uh, but until an event is finalized, it won't show up in any rankings. It won't even show up in the events list. So let's Look at the events list, and it is not there because it is technically in the unfinalized events queue. Uh, so let's finalize the event. There we go, and everything is finalized. We can look at the matches, and we can edit. So let's say uh, KD Zaster. Let's say he used Pierha. And let's click save. And there we go. Now his account is linked. It's got his character usage. Uh, let's uh, also use a claim. Now, I'm the person who submitted this event. Uh, so as, the, as I go through the claim process, I'm going to receive alerts from both sides. So let's say I'm going to claim the result for Mangy Chu. Uh, let's do that. And I just received an alert. The alert says Jaxel is claiming the result for uh, Mangy Chu. Uh, let's uh, click that. And right on this page itself, I can process the, the uh, claim, accept or reject it. Uh, let's uh, accept it. There we go. Updated. And I received another alert from the other side saying your claim for Mangy Chu has been accepted. Fantastic. Nice claim system, keeps it easy to uh, understand what's going on. All right, so let's uh, look at a previous event. Let's look at NEC 18. Uh, I uploaded this image as a test, so that's why uh, some of these uh, images are kind of stupid. We've got... Uh, Some videos for it. And the videos are actually being pulled from the uh, media linked to specific matches. So let's say, hey, I want to see 
uh, Blue Boy versus Oofmatic. I can click that and see the video right there. And they're also shown directly above the fold in this nice slider. All right, so uh, let's show another submit function. This one, we're going to go smash GG. Smash GG is a bit different. Uh, I'm going to go Evo Japan. And the reason why I'm picking Evo Japan is because it's an example of one of the limitations I'm going to explain with Smash GG. All right, so since we uh, link to an event and not to a specific bracket, it's telling us, it's asking us which bracket we want to submit. Now, I know for a fact that the biggest event at Evo Japan this year was Street Fighter V. So I'm going to click Submit on that. Now, before I click Submit, or Confirm for this matter, I'm going to give a warning here. You know, I'm going to click Now. This is going to take a while, because Smash GG's API, this is going to take 83 seconds uh, around that area. Smash GG's API is terrible. Uh, it has not changed in years. I've complained about it. They're not really going to fix it. Uh, the thing about Smash GG is in order to get the list of matches uh, for an event, you need to ping their API one time for each pool in the tournament. Now, uh, Street Fighter V uh, at EVO had 341 pools which means we actually have to ping their API for information on this tournament 342 times. And now that's going to take about 83 seconds, and it means we're just banging on the Smash GG server as we do this. Uh, thankfully, there's no rate limits on the Smash GG server. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they add them because of this kind of issue. Uh, but really, what they need to do is fix their API so this isn't an issue. So here we go. We're waiting. The Evo Japan 2018 Street Fighter V. There we go. It finished. How many seconds did it take? 76. I was close. It's generally always taken me 83 as I've done this test. All right. <coughs> so we've got organizer. That would be me, although that would not be the case. So let's just say uh, Shoryu Ken is the organizer. Uh, venues right there, pulled directly from the database. Let's add this to Soul Calibur 5. Let's not add it to my sub league. We're going to call this a major. It's Now in mine, I have separations for if majors are separated between pools and finals. In this case, from Smash GG, it's a single event with all the results. Double elimination, 2,217 players at $10 a piece. Uh, media, we've got no media because Smash GG doesn't have uh, bracket images. We've got the full list of results. It is long. And now even longer, the full list of matches. And we're just running it down. All right. So, I mean, all the, all the data is there. And, you know, that's, we're close to, we're entering, we're going to do about 3,000 database uh, connections right here as soon as we click save. And we'll see how, much, how long that takes to process. With my slow dev site. Hey, not too long. It took uh, 0.2 seconds. <laughs> All right, so it only took 0.2 seconds to uh, actually do those database interactions. Sure. I believe that. Not really. It felt like two or three seconds, but that could just be my server acting up. It tends to do that. All right, so we've got all our event, all our uh, results right here. We can you know, browse to different pages in line. Add more results if we wanted to, which we're not going to. And we're going to click Finalize. Click Submit. All right, Event Finalize. We've got our matches list with 89 pages of matches. 
And the reason why this old image is showing here is because I didn't clear some cache data uh, from my database when I submitted. So just, you know, uh, pretend this bad image isn't here. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's pretty much how the system works. If you've used it before, it's pretty simple. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, peace out.